Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this bar graph scene in the Vox videos. Now, if you enjoy watching and following along with these animation videos that I make, especially the videos around the Vox style effects, then I've got some exciting news for you because I'm currently working on an animation course called Animation Master. Now, I'm planning on releasing that sometime in the second half of this year. So if you're interested in that specific course, or anything around creating animations inside of After Effects, then I've put a link in the description below where you can get a little bit more information. I know a lot of you always request videos around creating animations inside of After Effects. So this year in particular, I'm also going to be releasing a lot more animation style videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those videos. All right, so over in After Effects, what we're going to do is I'm gonna start by creating a new composition. Now this composition can be whatever you like. I've set mine to 9 and 20 and 25 frames a second, but yours can be however long you like. I'm also gonna just set the duration to be about six seconds and then hit okay. So the first thing I want to do is create a solid background. Now for my color, I'm using this specific color, but any sort of dark blue or anything like that, or that can be whatever color you particularly want but this is what I'm using for mine. I'm also gonna create another solid. And to this, what I'm going to do is come up here and I'm going to apply the grid effect under the generate menu. So this will give me this grid effect. Now I can just grab this second little thing here and scale this right down. Now, if you don't have that option available, then you'll be using the width slider and the height sliders, and that'll give you the option to create more or less grids. Now with that, what I'm going to do is I can also apply a color to that. So I'm also gonna make this this particular color, which is a lighter blue, and I'm going to then drag down on the opacity just to really bring that right down here, maybe 10%. So I really want it to disappear into the background. I'm also gonna create an adjustment layer and to this adjustment layer, I'm going to apply a vignette. So I just want to apply the vignette over the very top. I can scale this amount up and down here and I can also scale this down to create a darker edge on this. That'll sort of create an interesting background. The other thing I'm going to do is also create a border which runs around the outside. So I'm just gonna come up here and use my rectangle tool. I want to set my fill to be none because I don't want it to have a fill, I just want it to have a stroke. So I want to make sure that the stroke is a solid color and I'm gonna select to be about three pixels wide and then just draw my box like that. Then I can come down under the rectangle settings and I can change a few things around here and I can also add a little interesting animation that sits over the top of this. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that little add button here and I'm going to apply another stroke and I'm going to drag this stroke to up so it sits above that stroke. So the stroke one is our border, then I'm going to add another stroke which sits over the top. And to that, I also want to apply that same color and I'm going to scale up on the width here. Then I can come down to the dashes and add a dash. If I scale up on this dash here, you can see we get this sort of effect of this line sitting over the top. Now what I can also do is if I hit the plus button again, I get a gap. So if I scale up on this gap, I can create basically one box that's moving around. Then I can scale this right down here and that's gonna scale down that line. So what I'm gonna do is just create an offset here at the start and then just drag this around, moving this right along like this. That's just gonna create a sort of movement there going around the screen. Next, I wanna create that main bar graph. So what I'm gonna do is come back up to my rectangle tool. This time, I want to change the fill to have a solid color. And that color I'm just using is that one there. And I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't have a stroke for this particular layer. So now what I can do is just draw out a grid which sits over the top here or somewhere in the middle. So maybe something like this. And then to that rectangle, what I want to do is also grab the anchor point. So I can change that by hitting Y on the keyboard and then just drag that off to the side here. 
Then if I come down to the transform properties for that rectangle, this is not for the layer, but for the rectangle, then I can change the scale properties and bring this all the way back down to zero. I'm just gonna create a keyframe there at the start and I'll go across maybe around here and scale this back up to 100. So I've just turned off that little lock icon there and that just helps, that basically allows me to then change those properties individually. So I've just created this little animation that goes like this. Next, what I'm going to do is just create an easy ease for both of those. And if I hit my graph editor, I can basically select this one and just drag it back. And that's gonna create a sort of soft animation. It'll make it fast at the beginning and slow then at the end. Next, I wanna create all of those little lines that run over the top. So I'm gonna take that same layer Firstly, I'm just going to rename this just to my blue bar. I'm just gonna duplicate this straight up. And then what I'm going to do is if I hit U, I can just bring up those properties very quickly and I can just turn off that scale. And now what I want to do is add 0.5 of a scale and that's just gonna give me a solid width there, right? If I scale up, it's going to also make it taller. If I come back down to that fill, I can now change this to be white. And then that means that we've now got a solid bar that does not animate. What we want to do to that bar is add basically a flicker on effect. So what I can do is I can come down to the transform properties and hit a stopwatch for the opacity. Then I can create another one here just a few frames in. I'm gonna make that first one zero. And then I want it to sort of go back to zero here and then back up to 100. So all we're doing is we're just kind of turning it on and off and it creates like this sort of flicker effect, something like that. You can also maybe just create another one in the middle here and make that zero just so that one stays on, just so it stays off there in the middle. So we kind of get this effect. I can also just make all of those easy ease and we kind of get that interesting on and off effect as it's fading in and out. So what I can do is I can now rename this and it's really important to get into this habit of renaming things just so we can keep track of everything that's going on. I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna off center this now and I'm gonna offset this very slightly here and then I can move it across on my screen and reposition it. I'm going to do this again by duplicating this, off-centering it, moving it across. And then I want to try and get this one lined up here in the middle. So I'm just keep referring back to my blue bar here just to make sure that it's perfect. I'm just using the arrow keys there to position that. And then to make this simple, what I can do is just basically select those three, duplicate them, and then just drag them all to the top and slightly off center those. You could go through and basically work out the exact position of everything. Um, and you could do that by hitting Command R or Control R to bring up the ruler. And then you could create basically exact positions if you wanted it to be absolutely perfect but I'm just showing you demonstrating quickly how this works. And now we've kind of got all of those layers sort of coming on like this. With that one in the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit you to bring up those properties is I'm going to go into the rectangle transform properties here and I'm just going to make this one a little bit wider and then I'm just going to slightly off center this again, just so it lines up there in the center. And then I want to come over to the fill settings and I'm gonna change this to be an orange or a yellow. Next, I'm gonna add some text which sits over the graph. So I'm just going to right click, create some new text here. And I'm just gonna type out my text here and then just reposition this under one of the lines. To also help, I can just line this up with one of the lines here and that's just gonna help basically get that in the right position. I can also hit that white bar there, hit T to bring up those opacity keyframes, copy those, and then just paste them onto that layer to get that same sort of fade on effect there. Now the font that I'm using, 
Over here is just Helvetica. That's all my settings if you want it to get exactly the same size and everything like that. Otherwise you can choose whatever font you want. Then I'm just gonna duplicate that and basically start creating some extra titles here and also off center that line that up with the next bar just to help keep track of everything i want to skip that yellow bar there in the middle bring this down like this drag this one up here duplicate that again bring that one down so that can be the text can be whatever you want there for the one in the middle what i also did was i created this sort of this cutout here of this text so the way i did that so I just took one of these text layers, duplicated it, just moved it up here. I also grabbed that yellow layer and also brought that up to the top because I just want to basically keep these all together. And then just move my text layer there. Now for you, you can call this one whatever you want. But for me, that's what I'm just going to type out my text. I'm just going to type out my text there. And then I'm also going to come back up to the rectangle tool. I want to make sure the color is set to the yellow and then just draw a box which sits over the top of that text layer then i want to take that shape layer make sure it's underneath that text whatever that text is for you and i'm just going to go to my track mat settings you can toggle this on and off here to get access to this and just make sure and change this to be alpha invert map then what i can do is with that text i can bring up those opacity keyframes i'm going to select all those and copy them I'm now going to turn off that opacity by hitting that stopwatch for that layer and just scale this right up. Go to that layer, hit T to bring up the opacity, and then just paste this straight onto that layer. So that then creates this fade on effect of that text there in the middle. So now you can work your way through and change the text however you want. Next, I want to put that bar that sits over the middle part. So what I can do to create this is I could just take my main blue bar layer and just duplicate this and drag it right up here. So it sits on top of all those layers except for the yellow layer. I'm then just going to go to the color here and change this to be something a little bit brighter. And I can hit U to bring up the scale properties of that layer and then just basically turn those off. And then what I want to do is move it over this side so it lines up with that graph. I'm holding shift there to keep it on that same axis. And then I want to move this in a negative space. So I'm gonna create a keyframe here at the start, which is zero, and then just drag this down so that it kind of goes just behind that yellow layer something like this. I can just off center that slightly. I'm also just gonna create easy ease keyframes for those just to help smooth that out. The other thing I also did just to help make this effect a little more interesting is just turn on motion blur for all of those layers there. And that just creates a bit more of an interesting effect. I can rename this one to be the light blue bar so I know what I'm working with. Then I'm just gonna create some text which sits over the top. So I'm gonna come up to my text tool, type out some text here, scale it up, position it somewhere. So it sits in that layer there. I'm also going to duplicate that text and create another one over here. So kind of create this text that sits over the top. I'm gonna to show you how to make that text disappear in a minute. I just wanna animate this graph first. So I'm gonna hit you to bring up all of those uh, keyframes for that layer. I'm also gonna go down into the transform properties and create a position keyframe here. Go across to scale this like that create another two scale keyframes down here, and then just adjust the end point just so it lines up there so we don't get any problems. Maybe bring this out, make both of those easy ease there. That kind of creates that animation. You can make that gap even longer in the middle there by dragging those apart. That'll create more time. So you can drag these in and out to basically control all of that timing. 
And then here, I'm also just going to copy those last two keyframes that holds it in place. And then maybe about here, I'm just gonna bring this back to about there and then just scale this down as well. Right as that's transitioning there, I want to create a basically split in this layer by coming up to edit, down to split layer, and then change that text to be whatever you like. I'm just demonstrating how this works, but I can just then reposition that somewhere in the middle. So I'm just lining up all my text now while it's all here. So that's pretty much the graph animated. This is So this is when you would do all the animation of your graph, right, to get all the movements that you want. The last part of this is then to basically make that text only appear when the graph is behind it. So to do this, what you could do is just take those layers and just simply come up to layer and down to pre-compose. I can just call this text layers. Now currently that text layer is sitting on top of that blue bar layer. What I need to do is duplicate that light blue bar layer and drag it above my text layers. That makes the text disappear. Then I can go to that text layer and come across to the track mat settings and make that alpha mat of that layer above. Now, because we already have the layer also below this, the blue bar, it creates a reveal just for that text that's on screen. So that's how we create that reveal of the text. So now when you play through, you have your finished animation. So that's how you make this bar graph all inside of After Effects. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can check out more Vox videos like this one over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.